choosing a text editor is almost as controversial as choosing a religion. Now, one of the reasons why I haven't talked about text editor up to this point is because text editors are a very controversial and it's typically something you don't want to talk about in the beginning just because developers tend to uh, be very, very picky of their text editors that they decide to use and the tools they use within those text editors. Now, my goal with with this uh, section here is to show you uh, what to look for in a text editor and how to ultimately decide what text editor is right for you. Because depending on what stage of the, your career you're in, a text editor might be more efficient for you than another one. So choosing the right editor is a really tough decision and you got to figure out how to do it. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And these are some of the questions you have to answer before you actually choose the editor. Is this editor supported by the community? Will this editor be available 5, 10 years in the future? Can I extend this editor with my own plugins? Can this text editor help me be more productive? Does this editor support more than one operating system? Again, it does not matter what type of editor you choose. You need to be able to answer these questions. And depending on how you answer these questions, you'll be able to identify the right text editor for you. Hold on. Hold on, Rick. You're saying I need to use a text editor, but what about an IDE? And IDEs are typically found in your classical languages such as Java, uh, Swift, these type of languages, C++. They usually come with a IDE to help you create the build process much easier, help you program, so on and so forth. Now, I would highly discourage you from using an IDE, and the reason for this is because you need to be able to understand the tools that are being out, being used outside an IDE so you can later appreciate more an IDE and all the features it has. So I highly discourage you from using one. If you want to use one, I won't be talking about IDEs. I will be just talking about text editors, specifically how text editors affect your programming flow in JavaScript. Talking you through how to install, set up, and configure some of the most popular text editors for 2016. These text editors include Vim, VI, Atom, Brackets, and lastly Sublime. We'll be configuring these text editors in three operating systems, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and start up installing and configuring these text editors.